in this week in Outlander history, Preston Pans. One of my favorite episodes of Outlander Season 2 took place in this week in Outlander history. It's all about the Battle of Preston Pans. On June 10, 2016, Preston Pans aired for the first time. Outlander Season 2, Episode 10 took us into that big battle that would help to boost the Jacobite morale and give the British Army something to worry about. One of the greatest things about the episode, and the storyline in Dragonfly in Amber, is that it's based on a very real battle and tells the details of how the battle came about. During the episode, Claire shows her fears that history may change and not for the better. They've spent all of this time trying to make changes and not seen any effect, but she knows history isn't completely written in stone. Knowing it's a Jacobite victory isn't enough for her, in case they've made some sort of change that will end up with the battle going the opposite way. However, Everything plays out as it should. Bonnie Prince Charlie's army is given support from people from a local farm, someone who knows of a way around the bog separating the two armies to allow the Jacobites to attack at dawn in the Scottish mist. It's perfect. There were some changes to the real story of the Battle of Preston Pans, but nothing that would take the attention away for the Scottish history fans. Here's a look at some of the changes and elements missed out. This episode also shows us the type of stubborn bravery Dougal has. When nobody else will, he goes into the bog to see just how far the British army can shoot. It's a tense moment, since we know eventually we'll have to say goodbye to Dougal but not when. Would it be this moment? While it's an enjoyable episode, there's no denying that the ending is one of the most heartbreaking. Something tells us that one of the Mackenzies is going to die. Throughout the episode, we were looking out for who. After wondering if it would be Dougal, we start to fear that it's going to be Rupert since he's injured in the battle. Instead, it's the one who has seemingly made it through the battle unscathed. We have to say goodbye to Angus. While saving his friend, he suffered from internal bleeding. There was nothing Claire could do by the time she finds out and all she can do is hold him as he dies, begging her to save him. 